Financial saying that I was taught at an earlier age was if you plan to fail, then you fail to plan. And it was centered around retirement. It was centered around about what we have, about what we are going to accumulate over time. And yet in these verses, Paul is writing to Timothy, he actually shares with the fact, hey, you know what? You came into this world with nothing, you're gonna leave with nothing. So be content the fact that you have food and you have shelter. Here's the thing, is that enough? Well, let me tell you a story about a gentleman who had a ton and he kept hoarding and hoarding and hoarding. In fact, he had millions of dollars and he was on his deathbed, but he wanted to make sure he was taking it with him. So he went to three of his friends and he gave each one of them $1 million in cash. And he told them, when they go to lock my casket up, I want you to put this money in the casket because I am planning on taking this with me. Now, I'm going to tell you the rest of the story, but I'm not gonna tell it to you until later because I want you to think for a second. What would you do if you were one of those guys that had $1 million in cash and your best friend came and asked you to do what this guy did with his friends? What would you do with that money? So the question is, is what you have today, is it enough? Or because of what we see on TV, the commercials and what everyone else has, are we constantly wanting and wanting and wanting? Contentment, godly contentment. We'll talk about those desires and temptations when it comes to money tomorrow.